people will look after you. See, if you fall on the ground and you're no free Glasgow, somebody will come and pick you up. If you're hungry, somebody will give you something to eat. If mm. you have got two pence short for your bus fare, they'll give you it. And that, that is what people don't know about Glasgow, you know? Danny the Mad Chef McLaren is a bit of an institution in Glasgow. He gained quite a bit of notoriety for making and selling produce like Buckfast ice cream and Iron Brew pulled pork, but now he's opened a vegan joint in the quite affluent area of Finiston. I'm going to meet him and he's going to show us around town, tell us what it was like to grow up in this city. The Mad Chef used to be just Mad Danny, a nickname he earned after some hard yards in the Glasgow rave scene. Growing up in the Easter House estate, he's lived in Glasgow most of his life and therefore an expert on a city that is so often misunderstood. Tell us, so tell, us, tell us where we are then, what's this park? So Kelvin Grove Park, Glasgow, it's like one of the probably most well-known parks in Glasgow, uh -huh. absolutely jumping, like whether it's like the summertime, it's one of the like busiest places, this is where everybody comes up to chill, mm. relax, kind of centre hub for the West End. Okay. So it's like Glasgow city centre, so even just Glasgow itself turned into like such a big multicultural melting pot of people now, so mm. it is quite a combined city. What's that, is that castle up there or? So that's a Glasgow University. Oh, very nice. Never made it to there, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what Probably got as far as the student loan submission, <laughs> man, and then that was me gone. <laughs> so, obviously you were saying this is about the West End, but you, you grew up in the East End. Yep, grew up in the East End. So t tell me about that and then sort of how your path into like working and living in the city. Like, what Basically, I grew, grew up in Easter House, like, like any other area in Glasgow, do you know what I mean? Like, I think when you when you live there and you come from it and it's all you know, then it, it is actually, it seems to as if it's fine for you. I'm still really proud of coming for Easter House and coming for kind of that area, mm. but it's just a shame that we didn't really have much opportunities. Uh, obviously, it was quite difficult living in a place where the mentality is a street mentality. Mm. I say, like, most people don't, didn't really have much, but they kind of got by, you know yeah. what I mean? To be honest with you, for the first 10 years of my life, I was an absolute idiot, you know what I mean? Because you learn the byproducts of like, not having any form of leadership in an environment that you grew up in. Mm. You just tend to do the same things that everybody else is, and that is just, let's cause havoc, let's get pissed and understand mm. how to be self-aware and what's going on in the world. I think that at the end of the day, there's, a, there's, a big, there's big changes coming on the way. I think Glasgow's starting to become, like I say, more self-aware as well. Mm. But I think the lack previously, and probably the lack now, is there's nobody like, inspiring like young people, man, like, to a level where they're actually growing their confidence and motivation to go, do you know what, I can be better, I can get whatever I want, I want to go and have that Jeep, I want to have a car, whatever big house. Yeah. Whatever your dreams are, do you know what I mean? They're known possible because there's one thing that I've learned, nothing is impossible, so if you put the right amount of work into something, mm. and that's the one thing that I'm totally focused on the youth, do you know what I mean? Because that is where the future is. Mm. Like, a lot of people don't realise that, and that's what I think maybe mere focus should be in Glasgow. I don't want to just paint like a you know, a negative picture of Glasgow, mm. of one of, you know, as you were talking about, of trauma and drug use and all the rest of it, because I know that's not, speaking to you, speaking to other people, I know that's not, like, the defining thing about mm. this city or the people that live here. What are, like, what are, the, what are, what are like, the standout positive things about this place? I think the standout positive things about Glaswegians so are fucking resilient, man. Like, absolutely so resilient, it's unbelievable. Mm. We've got a massive sense of camaraderie, community, and we've got, like, we've came for a long line of really hard-working class people that are responsible for making a lot happen, you know what I mean? It's just that Glasgow maybe no go to reap the benefits mm. of that, you know what I mean? Yeah, for someone else. Aye, well, that's it. Uh, and that's why there's such a massive growing influx of independent businesses, people like getting their asses off and going, do you know what, I can have my wee business, I can start my t-shirt brand, I can go and try and survive by myself. And even coming from a point of being having an independent business myself, it's fucking hard, man. So yeah. when you don't have money, where you kind of get bank loans and you need to do it in the back, but resilience, passion, drive, determination, man, that is all things that resonate with Glasgow for me. And community as well. Like, it's the fucking, it's the best, one of the best cities, like, ever, you know what I mean? Like, people will look after you. See, if you fall on the ground and you're no free Glasgow, somebody will come and pick you up. If you're hungry, somebody will give you something to eat. If mm. you have got two pence short for your bus fare, they'll give you it. And that, that is what people don't know about Glasgow, you know? But then if you look at the, I'm talking about, obviously, the negatives, like the poverty, the trauma, like, 
I wouldn't even say that. It's not even my experience and knowledge. It's not just within Glasgow. It's the fucking whole world, man. Like, this is what I mean. A lot of, a lot of fixations have been focused on small catchment areas, mm. but it's not that. It's not these particular areas, but it's a global fucking problem, man. The problem that expands through Europe, like, and beyond. And it's easier to it's explain, easier it, to explain, explain like, it and oh, manage it because, yeah. oh, there we go, there's Easterhouse because it's it's a known place. Yeah, we can visualise it and we can we can expand it. Where you go, ah, look, fucking, there is Easter houses in every fucking place in the world. And like I say, is that that's for me when you look at it globally. That's how I try and rise up and take a bigger a bigger picture of it. And mm. The world, the world needs some changing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But and it's it's things like this. That, that happen that we all start to kind of galvanise them one by one and before we know it the fucking revolution's on its way <laughs> it's, it's, it's happening just now man it's happening yeah 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 what's um when you you know you were talking earlier about sort of like the rave scene here and, and you being a part of that when you were younger does that still exist is there still sort of that there, party there is an the absolute phenomenal party rave scene culture within Glasgow yeah. it's, it's amazing it's like and it's quite a positive one as well to be honest with you because a lot of people it's, it's, um, it's another another really good strong sense of community there's there's people like leading some of the best kind of artists raves development obviously brands growing as well I, and that's that is a big part of Glasgow youth culture as well because if you're thinking about it, like if you look at what do you do to like kind of release the pressure valve for everyday life, like there's only some people don't enjoy their jobs, some people fucking hate their jobs, so you've got to kind of relax and blow a bit of steam. And Glasgow music culture is fucking insane. Yeah. I wish I was still out as practicing as much as what I did, but I don't think I'll be able to run a business in that case. <laughs> S Sally Meltdown every Monday morning, like my, my brain and serotonin, I don't think I have enough left, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The days are gone, but I, the scene's still popping, man. Glasgow's like the, the epicentre for techno, man. Yeah. It always has been. 